Unleashed. Huck, it's your turn. How are you today? What do you have? Doing pretty good, Chris. Hope you're well, pal. Good to have you, boy, um, Huck. What's happening now? Fire away. A little disappointed in Holland last night. I really am. Uh, I know it's just uh, one blown, blown save, I guess, but we're yeah, looking at third what place. Happened, uh, well, what happened late in that game? I mean, Holland came in in what inning to give up the run? Well, he walked four batters in the 10th inning and then give up the, the hit to lose the game. So. Well, uh, he didn't give up the hit, but he walked the four batters. I didn't walked the four batters. Yeah, that, that's pretty. It is his first uh, outing of the year. You got to give him a little chance, but I get the idea that you're disappointed. That's a fair point. Go ahead. Next. Well, we're looking at third place. I mean, I hate to say that because I, you know, I hate the Cubs. I, I, I almost rather root for the Cubs to lose than the Redbirds to win almost. But, you know, we're looking at third place. I mean, I was hoping maybe for a wild card spot, but we're not better than either the Nationals or the Mets. So either one of those teams are going to get one of the wild cards. And we're not – I don't think we're better than Milwaukee, and we're certainly not better than either – the Dodgers or maybe the Diamondbacks. So even a wild card, you know, I'm probably not going to get it. And that'd be three years in a row that we're not going to be in the discussion Matheny, or in the playoffs. Matheny, Matheny's not going to survive three years and not making the playoffs. He's not going to survive that. No, I, I don't think so either. I mean, there's, you know, I mean, if you listen to local St. Louis media, you know, they're, they're not killing him, but I, I think you're right. I think if we're, if we're not in the mix three years in a row, uh, it'd be tough to bring him back. Um, but, you know, with the Cubs as good as they are, I mean, you know, you got to take your hat off to them. But, um, you know, I've kind of – I'll be honest, I've, you know, with the, I've kind of checked out of baseball when the Cardinals are done. But I don't think I'm going to check out this year. I think I'm going to hang in there. Uh, I, I think that baseball is probably more intriguing to me without the Cardinals being relevant than it ever has been. I, I like Otani. I think the Yankees and Red Sox is going to be fun all year long. So I'm hoping I'm going to check out of it like I have been. But we'll see. But it's tough when it's, you know, middle of April. And, you know, as an objective sports fan as I am, an objective uh, Cardinal fan as I am, I have to be, I have to, you know, we're a third place team. That's probably what we're going to be. Baseball is the hardest sport to stay into it when your team stinks. Football, if the team stinks, you watch the other games. They only play 16 of them. Uh, the NBA, if your team stinks, you can still watch the NBA playoffs. NHL, same thing. Baseball, if your team is out of it and you got 162 games of it, it's very, very difficult. I 100% agree. Very tricky. I'm going to go here. I don't know if I should because I, I know you probably don't want to say much because I know that, that ESPN was good to you over your 30 for 30. But get up is garbage. I give it three chances, and I this show will not last six months. I, it won't. It's bad. Jalen Rose uh, I have not seen knows it. Well, nothing I, I outside have, of basketball. Uh, I, I haven't seen it. Okay, so Rose is good with the basketball but knows no other, knows no other sports? I could. He probably couldn't name you ten baseball teams, Chris. And that's being honest. Michelle Beadle, listen, she 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 tries, but and I give Greenberg a lot of credit. You know, he he he's very knowledgeable in all the sports. But I've watched three times, and every time Greenberg tries to bring up baseball, he he brung on Richard Justice the other day, and it was a good interview. But Rose couldn't bring anything to it. They got Damian Woody on this week. He knows nothing. It's going to be tough for Greenberg to be able to to go outside of basketball or med football. But Greenberg wants to do baseball. I think he would like to do some hockey, but he's just not going to be able to do it. And that's a shame because Greenberg, I think, is a good sports guy. But, you know, he's just surrounded by a bunch of people around him that just don't want to do nothing but talk about basketball and LeBron James. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, you know, LeBron, uh, and again, we've talked, we've talked about this forever. Uh, that is what ESPN is, you know, what they do. And they're going to blow up baseball. They don't have as much of a, financial commitment to that sport as they do with the NBA and the NFL, especially right now the NBA. The playoffs are begun. Uh, are begun. They're going to be into the NBA. They're going to blow the NBA. You're going to get LeBron this, LeBron that, uh, and they are going to blow you away with the NBA. And that's what they're going to do. And and they are. They don't. They only have one playoff game. They are not a playoff entity in baseball. Uh, you know, after the home run derby, ESPN is sort of checks out of baseball. They get ready for college football in August. They get ready for the NFL with training camp stuff in August. Um, you know, they, they, they do a little September baseball. They do obviously the wild card one game and that's it. They're done. And, and I think that's a, I, I know ba- they need baseball for f- the first three or four months because they don't have a lot of, you know, there's no NCAA right now for them. They don't know that they don't do, they don't do the hockey. 
Uh, you know, they need baseball, you know, from middle of June to August 1st, they got nothing. And they got a lot of time to fill. They need baseball. Once that's over, the NBA draft, they got a month of nothing. So that's where baseball comes in for them. But they don't pay too much attention to it. Simple. I have not watched that show. Uh, I I understand why Greenberg took a chance and left the radio to do it. Uh, I, I've heard their ratings have been horrendous. I don't know what that means. Big picture. I don't know what their design was. I don't know if they felt, um, you know, I don't know what they thought the, the actual, you know, realistic goal was out of the gate. There's a ton of competition. When I have seen it, it just reminds me of another ESPN show. I have seen nothing in it. And I haven't sat there and watched it. But when I have flipped around, you know, running on a treadmill with the TVs in front of me, and I put it on, I have never said to myself, oh, that looks something different. Let's take a look. Never said that. It's like an ESPN show. The main of them that they do is another ESPN show. That's my sense. Jai in Baltimore, Maryland. He's on Mad Dog Unleashed. Jai, good afternoon. How are you today? What do you have for me? I'm good, Mad Dog. How are you? All right, Jai. Nice to talk to you. What's on your mind today, pal? I got a few things on my mind. Uh, my high school baseball starting, and I got my uh, MOB season predictions. Let me hear it. So, uh, so with uh, my baseball so far, I've played two games already. Um, I played one yesterday that we won by the final score of ten to eight. What position and you playing there, Jay? I play uh, first base in the outfield. Good for you. And, you, got, have you uh, what, what number do you bat in the lineup? I, uh, my coach has me batting second. Are you a right-hand hitter or a left-hand hitter? Left-handed hitter. Good sign. Are you, you're a junior or a senior in high school? Sophomore. Oh, you're a sophomore. You got a good high school yeah. varsity. You got a good high school varsity team. Nope. They're bad. The mm, mad dog to be nice because I don't want to air them out on on national radio. But a lot of some of those guys have no business picking up a bat and a ball. If you know what I mean. Really? Do you have any pitching or not? Mm. We have some decent pitching, but it's not as but it's not what I want. I mean, granted, I'm not expecting us to have uh, Koufax and Palmer on our staff, but um, you know, it's all right. Wow. So, yeah, did you, you you what's you played two games? What's the record? Our record is one and one, and um, so far, my batting um, stats so far, I've had two singles and five walks through. Through uh, two. Wow, games. that's pretty good. You've been on base, so you've been up about ten times, and you've been on base seven of the ten times. Yeah. Any errors? Nope. Has it been freezing where you play? <laughs> freezing, Matt. Matt, though, you have no idea. I, my four fingers on my left hand, because I'm left-handed both ways. My four fingers on my left hand were frozen the entire game yesterday. I can only feel my right hand. That cold. All right, so you're one and one. I, I want a complete update as they move it along here. Complete. Do, 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 does, does your team follow MOB or they board stiff with baseball? I mean, with my school, you can never tell. Some of them are into baseball. Others, they couldn't. They wouldn't tell you Jim Palmer if if they come if they came into their living room. So it's mostly NBA and football. Yep. Mostly well, NBA, but yeah. Nah, mostly NBA and football. All right, Jai, we're going to keep an eye on that. Up 10 times, seven plate appearances, away we go. Seven times you've been on base. A good on base percentage. We'll get statistics out of Jai as we move, on, move along this spring. Our little pal. Maria in New York. Maria, good afternoon. How are you today? Oh, yeah, let me press again. Maria, are you there? All right, Maria's not there. We lost her. Poorly produced by Eddie. Here's Eric in Long Island, New York, and he's with us here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Eric, welcome. How are you today, pal? What's going on? I'm doing good, Dawn. Listen, uh, looking forward to the NHL playoffs getting going tomorrow. First time in seven years, no Rangers, so uh, I'll be acting a casual fan. You know, think into it. Let me take you back to the first week in January. Uh, I was out in Vegas for wild card weekend in the NFL. But uh, that was also the same weekend the Rangers played out in Vegas, so I had a chance to see T-Mobile Arena. Tremendous arena. I mean, the fan base out in Vegas was very lively for that game. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when they open up with the Kings uh, tomorrow night and Friday night at T-Mobile. The last thing I did before I left there in Vegas, I made two plays on the NHL for the playoffs. Let me hear it. At the time, at the time on January 5th or 6th, whatever that date was, I, I put money on the Predators at 12-1 to 1 to win the Cup. They're currently at 4-1. to 1. 
And I also took a shot at the Anaheim Ducks, so a rematch of the Western Conference Finals. Wow. They're a team that, start, they're, they're a team that started off the season very, uh, you know, ravaged by injuries, especially on defense and up front. Uh, they, you know, they have a lot of pedigree in these playoffs. I got them at 22-1. to 1, So, I, got, I caught a break last week. I don't know if you paid attention, but the Ducks were in a fight for their lives just to get in. They got into the playoffs, but also what they did is they avoided that eighth spot Nashville in the first round. So now they're now they're on the other side of the bracket. With Vegas, L.A., and San Jose playing San Jose uh, game one Thursday night. I got a shot with Anaheim and Nashville. If they can meet up in a Western Conference Finals rematch, I'll be sitting there come cup final time with one of those two teams with a chance to win some money. So I did take a shot on Nashville and Anaheim. But I, I feel confident with the Predators at 12-1. to 1, It's a good bet. At least getting to a cup final. Yeah, it's so a good I, bet. I, you know, Go ahead. You know, if you if you ask me right now, the hint, and I and I, I'll call tomorrow and I'll give you my series predictions when you do the show. But if you ask me right now, I got a feeling that Nashville, Winnipeg winner in round two, if they both get through, which I think they will, I think that's going to be the team that actually probably comes out of the West from what I've seen some, from January on. And as far as the East goes, dog, I think that, I think the Bruins did them a the service the other night, losing to Florida at home, having to play the Maple Leafs. I think that's going to be a seven game series. I'm, I'm thinking Toronto's going to beat them in a, in a seventh game in Boston, get a little redemption from what happened a couple of years ago. But, uh, you know, if Tampa Bay is, you know, uh, you know, firing on all cylinders, everybody's playing well, getting the goaltending, they got a lot of fire up front. You know, so it'll be interesting how the East shapes up. But I will tell you this, I think Pittsburgh, you know, three times the amount of games they played, I, I, I think it's going to be as good as they are, Crosby and Malkin, you can never count them out. I just think the schedule is going to catch up. I think, I think, I would, you, I, I, and, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is the year where you know Washington, you know, they're not the President's Trophy winners. They go about the regular season; nobody talks about them. Watch the Capitals make some, uh, you know, some noise. Uh, I mean, in the playoffs when nobody expects it. You know? uh, I took them last year and I got burned. I'll lay low. I'm going to take Winnipeg as a crack at ten to one. That's what I'm going to do. The Jets. I know Tori's going to get that's an, that's an odd one. <laughs> it's a, I mean, you're going to sit there and watch Winnipeg Jets hockey. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thought of that is actually very funny. Yeah, that's why I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to take a run at Winnipeg. I want to be a Jet fan of uh, this off. How are you doing? All right, and you're going to have to like find like five different channels to find out where the game is. Well, right? I'll find the game, Steve. Trust me. I mean, I know you're not as well. You kid. always you always complain about that, uh, you know, because uh, you can't find the game. Well, uh, 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 let's take a look. I, I got the schedule right in front of you. You, you make a big deal. May I take a look? Uh, Winnipeg, first game is on NBC Sportsnet. All the games are on NBC Sportsnet. No, that's not bad. SN. SN is Sportsnet, I'm assuming. Is that NBC Sportsnet? That sounds like it. All right. Uh, it's not, uh, you know, hot NHL network or anything else. It sounds like it's on Did a- you hear that the Golf Channel is going to have some hockey games, hockey playoff games? Did you hear about this? No, I did not. Yeah, did, you hear, did you hear this, Eddie? I did not. Well, Colin? I can, yeah, that's an NBC affiliate. They're trying to spread yeah. the games around. Is that supposed to be? I forget which one specifically, but I did read that. All right, very good. Just kind of odd, don't you think? Piece of note from Steve. Okay. Well, I figured you'd be interested in that. I usually get into that that, stuff. That's a strange one. The Golf Channel. Frank Nobolo going to call the games. Uh, We'll have that going for you here. Who's your Mount Rushmore of New York athletes? We did Boston. A lot of guys are left out. Who's your Mount Ruth? Where else you want to go? LT. I think you have to. That's two. Who the other two? It's not Messier. Hmm. You want to put Messier there? No, he didn't play here at some, but they won a cup. You want to put Messier there? For the accomplishment that he made, you have to consider him. I mean, uh, so I'm only going to put Ruth as the Yankees on... uh... You want to put two Yankees there? I mean, would people put Namath on there because he led the Jets to their only Super Bowl? They shouldn't. He only did it for the... He only had a couple of great years. They shouldn't. Um, But how about a Nick? Yeah, it's a tricky thing with a the Nick. They only they won the two championships. You want to put Willis there? You want to put Clyde there? You can't put Ewing there. No. They don't have as many as you think. You know, Boston's got great. I mean, they got Russell Williams. You're not going to get anything better. Russell Williams, Brady, and Orr. What you get? You can't get better. It's impossible. You can't get better than that. There's not a town in America, and you want to give me... Remember, they got all four sports represented. Ira called, first time I've heard from Ira in about a month. Months. Jeez, Ira, where have you been? But he puts two Niners in there. He'll be back in September. He's put two Niners in there, Montana Rice. Well, I mean, you know, I I guess I can put two Yankees in there, then I'll put Garrick and... I think I'll put DiMaggio. Mm. And you could put Mantle. You put DiMaggio. What other's... What second Yankee? Ruth and who? 
It's one of those three. You can't put Jeter there. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Uh, it's either Garrick, Mantle, or DiMaggio. Which one? Which yeah, one? Probably one of those three. Well, it is, Steve. It's not probable. It is. Which one? Well, if, if you're so certain, why are you asking me my opinion? I'm asking you one of those three. I mean, what, what do you want to put a Bucky Dent? I mean, well, which one? I mean, can, it just the, doesn't seem fair that I can only get four. You know what I mean? Bucky, well, Bucky Dent. No, I, I mean, what, you want to put Horace Clark in your <laughs> How much more? What? 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 One out of the three. Let me hear. Which one? Hmm. Garrick didn't win without Ruth or or DiMaggio, and he's more known for the speech, so I'm going to leave him out. I I, I think I might put Joe D in there. He's a better player than Mantle. It's it's a tough call, It's very difficult. It's tough This is like it's an impossible to answer. All right. It really is. Very good. How's that for a cop-out? Not bad. It's a chicken or steak question. That's why it's perfect for you. Maybe we'll use that tomorrow, guys. Write that down. I don't know if Danny's heard of Dimash. Has he? No, I doubt it. All right. Yeah. Well, I know Patrick Reed. Uh, was was he in the studio today for the uh, morning guys? He was in the building, but he didn't make his way into the studio. <laughs> How do you not make He uh, came in the building. We didn't get him in morning men? That's right. How is that possible? Uh, he hit a detour right down to the corner office uh, way in the back. Oh, really? Oh, that was one of the... No, that's ridiculous. How do we lose a guest because he's got to run down to the corner office? That's absurd. And, that, and believe me, that show needs a guest, our show. I mean, how do we lose one? Uh, great guest today. Not that, well, who'd they have on? Several, several people. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> who did they have on today, actually? I'm trying to remember. Guy Fieri? Oh, yeah, that's right. Guy Fieri was on. Who's he? You don't know who Guy Fieri is? I, I do not. Celebrity Chef. Oh, it's a celebrity Chef. You ever seen Diners, Drive Ins, and Dives? Oh, it's God, one of no. the best programs there is out there. Oh, God, no. I no. He's very popular. I missed that. I got two more episodes to go of Breaking Bad, by the way. Two more to complete the whole thing? Yep. It is a great show. There's no getting around it. Uh, do you feel better about the later years than you do the earlier ones? Uh, they're all very good, Steve. Every single one of them, huh? Uh, you know, there's a, 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 every every year is going to have a few episodes that you can do without. Oh, sure. But it's it's very good. It's, you'd like it. It's, I'm surprised you've never gotten into that. You would really like it. I'm sure I would. I'm surprised you haven't sat there one day and get off the, you know, uh, the Yankee... Tampa game and sit there and say, let me watch a couple of these in a row to get a feel what's going on. Each show is 47 minutes. Yankee Tampa game. Uh, I, I, I'm surprised. I, I haven't done that. I'm well, surprised. if the Yankees keep up this pace, maybe there'll be a lot of time for viewing oh, uh, Breaking Bad. I'd love to see a Stan. Yeah, Yankees out of it by June. Oh, I would love to see Stanton 0 for 5 and 5 more strikeouts tonight. Well, you, you count on that. That would be. I'd love to I see I predicted it tonight. Two hitter, 12 strikeouts. Well, who said that the Yankees were making a mistake bringing Stanton in? They didn't need more strikeouts in that lineup. And all home runs. Who said it? All you know, year. I, my first reaction was we did. they didn't need him. But again, he fell in their lap. But again, it's 10 games. Jeez. Let's relax a little all bit. Right. You're watching every single pitch. So, I mean, it means something to you, right? Correct? That's my team. You're a good Yankee fan. I give you that. You're a good Yankee fan. Very good Yankee fan. Anything else going on I need to know about? Uh, the Cubs lost. Oh, the Pirates. Uh, my Pirates white, are eight and two. My White Sox stink. They yeah, can't they're down six, one in the ninth. Oh, my God. Uh, anything else? Um, Nothing in it. The only game in the NBA tonight of note, Philadelphia needs to beat Atlanta to clinch a right, clinch if, the three seed. If they well, if they win tonight and then they win tomorrow, then they get the three seed. No, they get it anyway, Steve, because they beat Cleveland head to head in the season series. They got the tiebreaker. You sure about that? So all I have to do is win tonight. They don't they need the game, game against Milwaukee. They do not. I, they I, won three I've games. Read, they, I read otherwise, but maybe you're I, right. we better double check it. Philadelphia Cleveland tiebreaker. I believe Philadelphia won three one. That's why the game the other night was so important. I believe that because Cleveland needed to win that game to get to 2-2. I believe that Philadelphia won the head-to-head 3-1. And if that's the case, they're a game up right now, are they not? You have to look at this they standings. have 30 losses and the Cavs have 31. So they're a game up. So if they're a game up, all they have to do is split to win this if they won a season series. I believe they, they won have 30 losses, up. Cavs have 31. Right. So I believe the three games to one. Is that correct? Here you go. Cleveland, which owns the tiebreaker over Philly. How, how do they own a the tiebreaker? Via conference record. They don't go head-to-head? This is what this says on CBS Sports. Well, hold on now. Since when do they not go head-to-head? That's the first I've ever heard of that. They do not do head-to-head to decide the tiebreaker? Is that possible? That's what Steve read. Call the NBA on that, please. Is it because they're out of the same div- not in the same division? I mean, this was five hours ago this story came well, out. Fine. you got to explain to me who won the head-to-head. Let's first make sure Philadelphia won a head-to-head three games to one. That's the first thing. And, and so and maybe it's 2-2 and I made a mistake, but I believe it's 3-1. Philly won a game in Cleveland and they won oh, a- look. 
Yeah, that's important. Maybe it's 2-2. I thought it was 3-1. Well, I might be wrong. Uh, let me just give you one other baseball item. So did you see that Yadier Molina and Tori Lovello got one-game suspensions for that little incident the other day? They did. Did the umpires get fu- uh, suspended that's a from good the, Yankee, question. the Yankee game? I don't, I don't think so. Alex Gordon looks like he's got a serious hip injury. All right. Which is not good for the Royals. That was a bad contract. $75 million. Next. Yeah. Uh, Mikel Bridges leaving Villanova for his... Uh, no shock. Next. And Richie Incognito looks like he's going to be Retire. retiring after okay. 12 seasons. Need to Cleveland put it off the entire break. If it's 2-2, then the conference would be next. I thought it was 3-1 Philly. I might be wrong. I thought the other night made it 3-1. In and which case, what I said would, would be correct, then. They would need to win tonight and tomorrow. Well, then that's correct. That is correct. And, and so maybe it is 2-2. So I'll take the hit for that. That's but right. I don't, th- I don't think the conference record's the first tiebreaker. Eddie doesn't know. We'll see if we can get that organized. Good job, Steve. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it. All right. Very good. We'll continue here on Mad Dog Unleashed right after this. 